After Caitlin's shower in EP8, Jinx's mark references her mark from EP4, moments before the explosion. Caitlyn survived this fear, two times. In the intro, Vander hasn't got beard. When powder running we can see Pentakill and Timo's mushrooms graffiti. Caitlyn's father comes from Ionia. Teddy bear in the box, has it written on the ear, Violet. Vander growls like Warwick. After next Jinx's boom, from the box, falls out Vi's teddy bear and the device Jinx would use to find her. In the picture we can see Jace and his father. The money currency is called bronze washers. In episode 1 we can find three masks in Benzo's shop, but in episode 3 there is only two masks. Caitlin's camera was created by Talis family, and there is no other like it. At the start of episode 5, Caitlin shoots from father's weapon. Firelight's attacks on airships is reference to stopwatch, item from LOL. On one of the balconies there is Caitlyn's cupcakes. The real name of the lanes is the Black Lanes. On the table, under big graffiti we can see Vander as stuffed toy. Kiramans have obsession on their mark, they even have plates with this. In the lanes, there is ice-eating newspaper, Daily Lanes. In a game played by Powder, we could also play in 58th event Riot X Arcane. Powder playing on the arcade machine with Timo. Jace's mother after rescue lost her fingers. She replaced it by mechanized fingers. Under Jinx's bed, there is Rhinoceros from Get Jinxed. In a conversation in between Jace and Victor, they emphasize the word crank, this is reference to Blitzcrank, created by Victor. Victor's invention, Hexcore references his old passive in-game. Sky's studies is about how to control Hexcore. Powder in EP1 took Valdiani from Jace's lab, then she used it in EP9. When Caitlyn took Jinx's weapon, Jinx uses her passive from LOL on her. Victor's run is reference to running to catch his ship from childhood. Next to Benzo's shop we can see Echo's vehicle from Enemy. Members of the Medarda family we know is, Mel Medarda, J Medarda, Yago Medarda, Kino Medarda, and Bessa Medarda. On the Vander's monument there are signatures among others there is Echo. Behind Jinx's rocket we can see Red Moon, this is reference to the Blood Moon universe. It is possible that Jinx and Vi isn't blood related sister, because when they saw her killed mother only Vi cried. On the Jace's blackboard we can see how works runes. Sevika's alcohol has bilgewater mark. When Jinx opens a plate with cupcake, we can see a scene for a moment, where Caitlyn was on bed with Vi. Jace and Mel relationship can be fake, there is moment where Mel called Jace investment. On the first teaser of Arcane there is a scenes with a person, which was not in series, but he was one time in background. In the Benzo store, a Trindamir's helmet hangs above the door. Himena is the name of Jace's mother. On barrels, with Shimmer, there is Gragas. Behind Vi, there is picture where there is Vander, with his kids, this picture is also at the end of Arcane, on dinner table. The last scene with Powder and Vi in episode 1, mimic their one of the first scenes in episode 1. When Jinx walk on the bridge, she hums music from start of the series. We know, that Jace, plays on the guitar. Jinx replaced Stalin Hexcore, by a toy, which she had been holding before. Immortal, Caitlyn. Interestingly after two big explosion, Caitlyn survived and she did not have large damage to health, but she was very close to the source of the explosion but all other not survived. Jace wears crystal and bracelet that he got from Mage, who saved him, and his mother. In Bina's shop we can find, Fiendish Codex, Health Potion, Rabadon's Death Cap, Heart of Gold, Deleted, Sapphire Crystal, Eye of the Oasis, Deleted, Refillable, Potion and Star Shards. In the cage, we can see Krug, Old Appearance, and Timo's Mushrooms, from the game. On Vi's splash art, she wears Klager's glasses. Vi said to Powder, you know, Powder, what makes you different makes you strong. Always remember that, okay? This is a reference to the future of the series. Victor is big reference to Nikola Tesla. Piltover is only 200 years old, only Bilgewater is younger. Shimmer is used as narcotic. 
Hexgate shows immortal Bastion. Jericho is also Swain's name. Victor saves Jace from suicide in EP1, and then Jace saves Victor from suicide in EP9. Caitlyn on her arcane skin, wears her mother earring as necklace. In the series, she had different. There is an inscription on the Jinx chair, identical to the one from, Get Jinxed. Powder took six crystals from Jace's lab, then one is exploded and only four were in her suitcase. One is missing. In prison, Vi is not in the cell, she is in isolation. We can see Kindred's cosplay in intercourse rooms. When Victor's laser shoots to Poro, it behave like Poro from Aram. Ravens from much scenes is probably belong to fiddlesticks. We can hear Brackern's voice when Powder opened box with crystals. On the machine, on which Vi train and then Jinx, there is Milo's face. When Jinx is listening to Get Jinxed, we can find crystals from the Benzo's shop in background. In intercourse rooms, we can find smiling Lyandry's mask. Vi called Jinx, Pow Pow, this is name of one of Jinx's weapons. Singed look at the picture with her daughter, and this is not Orianna. Then, we can see Warwick above him. In Jinx's room, we can see Milo's and Clogger's mascots. We can see Velka's picture. Fiddlesticks, quote, Jinx! All your fault! All your fault! Is reference to Arcane. Faces fading in the flames. It was all her fault is reference to arcane scene with jinx and her miniature horses is reference to get jinxed vi's q in arcane works differently than in warriors in the fight with chemtanks we can hear vi and jace's ability sounds from lol vi and jace are surprised what their weapons can do for example vi's shield jinx's dinner takes place at the place where vander has been imprisoned by silco in lore Firelights use a not only flying board, but also flying rollers. Rio is very similar to Little Legend, Piximander. Jinx's position is reference to to get jinxed. Renny has her own chem tank. Kemberin on the right, man, is from Piltover. Start of the Echo and Jinx's fight is retrospection from childhood. Vi was did tattoos by herself. Hextech Dragon from game is creates Hexgates from Arcane. Vi's first attack against Silco's employee is reference to last attack against Urgot from Warriors. Some of airships is belong to Clan Pharaohs. Originally Vi's glaives were not created by Victor or Jace. We can see person who tattooing pentacle mark, also this person is on Urgot's splash art. Second later we can see angry Poro, not Heimerdinger's Poro. Again, second later, we can see a person who referring to Singed from the game. People who sings enemy are imagined dragons. When kids are going to lift, we can see Gentleman Cho'Gath's picture. After Caitlyn's shower, Jinx is behind Caitlyn for a moment. But good that Jinx was that nice to let her dress up. Stuffed toy Milo has many blah blah words on its body. This is reference to Jinx's childhood when he blames her all the time. Also on this table, there is many items from past. Old Vander's glaives, Vi's stuffed toy and Vander's cigar.